Hello from Arizona. My name is Cal and I want to welcome you to Tough Trails. Okay, in this episode, we're going to get you caught up and show you what we've done so far towards our paint job on the 92 Scout project. And as you can see here, we've done some jamming in here and we've done some interior painting as well up on the top and inside like that. Okay, and that's what we're going to do this week. So let's get her going. Yeah. All right, guys. So you see, we're kind of busy today. Been doing some jamming, getting some jamming out of the way. Back as well. So I would just uh, show you what we're doing here to catch you up. So I knocked out this door. And this jam as well. Okay, so we're jammed. And then tomorrow I'm going to do the interior. We're going to paint the interior tomorrow. I'm going to pull all this stuff off the top up there. And it uh, comes out with screws. And uh, we'll do the inside as well. Okay? All right. Cool. Just want to catch up. Okay, guys. When you're getting ready to paint and you're prepping the outside and you're going to do some sanding and maybe some body work or uh, cleaning or whatever, but... You're going to find this trim work that goes next to your window on both your doors okay and this is generally covered in a plastic or a, a dark black rubber uh, type material okay but uh, these things are over 30 years old now and uh, that uh, material has the sun has just beaten it and deteriorated it so i just took a razor and i cut it and trimmed it off as best i could and now as you can see here i'm started to sand so i'm going to sand it and then i'm going to determine if I'm going to paint this trim piece black and tape it off and then paint the rest of the body blue like our, our intentions were, or if I'm just going to paint blue up to here because it's just, it's easier. But uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. So I'm going to prep this up and get it sanded up. It looks like I got a little bit more I got to get off right here. I just noticed and here. So anyway, I'm going to work that. Okay. And then once you get it all sanded up, you tape up the area and then you can prime it. It doesn't take long for this primer. I literally just primed it, walked over and got the camera, and that's how dry it is already so fast. Okay, so now you just can take some paint and paint with black. We're going to use black, okay? Cool. There you go, and then hit it with some black. You'll be good to go. You want this, the reason you want to do this now before you paint is to get this uh, a chance to get hard and get uh, uh, dry, really good and dry and cured. And that way, because what's going to happen when you get ready to paint your blue you're gonna to have to put a piece of tape over that now to protect that. And you want that paint to stick. So you can't you can't tape over fresh paint. And when you pull that paint off, you're just gonna have chunks all over the place, okay? All right, so there we go. So that's how you do it. Now repeat it to the other side. You'll notice here, we also remove the mirrors. Those are gonna be black. You pull the door handles out. Those are gonna be black, okay? All right, cool. All right, guys, so we're prepping the interior to get painted as well. And I was just going to paint over a lot of this, but I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. So I'm cleaning these floors really good, scrubbing them as best I can, and getting that out of there. So we'll get this water out uh, before we spray, but we'll probably spray a little bit later on today. So up and around the windshield, we took all the clips off and the visors and the rearview mirror and stuff. So the dome light we took out, we've already cleaned and prepped it. So it's actually ready for paint right now. <clears throat> Hit it with some primer. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that much primer on the inside. It just doesn't have the access to the elements that the outside does. Okay, a good scuffing might be all I need. I just need color. So, okay. And then when it comes to the dash, uh, this always uh, draws a, this always draws some complaints. But this dash is going to get soaked in extra virgin olive oil, not Armor All, not some other bullshit. Extra virgin olive oil. That's what's going to bring this back. Okay. So there you go. Crack away. Okay, now what we're doing is, since we're going to paint the interior as well, um, we got to tape all this up, as you can see. So we got to tape this rubber seal up. There's nothing like, if you get a little paint on the glass, big deal, that'll come off. You get you some acetone to wipe it off. But uh, if you get it on that black rubber, the seal, you're going to have some problems. So you want to protect that seal pretty good. And then you've got your, your paper here with tape on it and stuff. That, that's what I use. But you can use anything. You can use newspaper, too. I used to use newspaper. So, uh, but this is a little bit more convenient. The truth is, though, I really don't like the paper with the tape on it. I just don't. It's a pain in the ass. Okay, I'd rather have just the paper, but 
I was having trouble finding it, so I just grabbed what I could get. Okay, so floors have been cleaned, and we're going to probably put some color in the floors as well. Okay, so I'm just trying to give you a look at it. Oh, and up here, yeah, right there. So I got to trim that out as well. I like to keep the labels original. So, okay. All right, so we're about to tape up and maybe spray a little bit. Okay, cool. All right, so then when you get done sanding it and scuffing it and taping it, then you hit it with a little primer, okay, because we want this to stick, okay? We want somebody, whoever buys this, the next owner, we want to be proud of this thing, okay? So, anyway, everything's all primered up, okay? All right, cool. Okay, so when you get done scuffing and taping and putting your paper up and hitting it with some primer, come back, load your gun, and hit it with some color, okay? All right, we got a little bit more to do in here. I'm just trying to stop here because I'm going to switch guns. And I'm going to put some color on this floor as well, okay? But I just wanted to show you where we're at so far and how that's all working out. Okay? All right. All right, guys, cool. All right, so you can see what's going on. I'll stand back a little bit. So you can see what's going on and what we're doing here. And we're getting this going. And we painted the, uh, we jammed it yesterday, and then we did the interior today. I'm going to put a little more in here. I'm going to go to the floor, and I'm going to put some color on the floor, okay? But I wanted to get this coat in here, and I wanted it to be able to dry so I could take a look at it, okay? All right. There you go. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. There you go. You got it. That's a good shot right there. Okay, so before we can paint, we've got uh, to prep this body. And one of the things is, is there's a dent here on this. And if you've watched this or seen this one before, this was caved in quite a bit right here. And this right here well, was all twisted up pretty bad and pinched. You can see here, we have an issue here. And this right now is not going up on top. So we're going to have to work this. And you can look in the back there if you can see it. And whoever fixed this or whoever had it before I got it, um, they just drilled and pulled the holes out that way and then packed it full of Bondo, which you can see here is, is cracking off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind all this out. I've already popped this dent out right here, but I need to relax it a little bit and work this metal a little bit to get it straight. And then I'll, I'll put filler on it as well, but hopefully not this thick. So... But what we're trying to do is we need to get this piece the way it's supposed to be and get this up on the mount right here. So as you can see over here on this one, see you see this angle right here. So we'll reproduce that over there and then we'll be able to get it to mount up there. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. Um, and we'll probably knock that out today and maybe get some paint on it this weekend. So, but as you can see, this is pretty risky doing an outdoor paint job today so I might not I might hold off I might just do some body work and prepping uh, I have wet sanded in the rain before so that'd be cool free water all right so all right so that's what we're going to do today we're going to try to take out this dent and save this fender okay cool <laughs> Okay, so we've got this worked out pretty good, and I just took hammers, one on the back and one on the front, and there was a crease here that was causing me some problems. It's a little low spot here, but we tapped it out some more, tapped out this, 
this was a low spot tapped it out there's a tiny bit of a divot right there so and we brought this line made this line straight and we took care of this as well so and what that did was it brought this up so i can just bend this tab down and it should line back up again when it comes time to mount it so what i'm going to do now is um we're probably going to mix up uh some bondo and put a thin coat of bondo on here and see what we got okay it might be a little high spot right there still so okay anyway just want to show you that all right cool put this first coat on this to help us identify our low spots I'm building high down here on the bottom on purpose You guys ever work with bond hooks it's a pain in the ass to sand and stuff but you really need the power tools to do it with so and there you go this stuff is drying pretty fast of course it's 110 degrees today clean your board off and then just stick it like that and then when you come back to pull this off the next time, it's going to stick to the paper and your spreader will be clean again. Okay? Good. That's it. Your, your spreader comes out clean when you do it like that okay you gotta scuff the other side but at least it comes out clean <laughs> Okay, so we hit it with the DA with 80 grit, and then I just hand sanded it, and then I scuffed it with some uh, 320 uh, wet dry. Okay, and now I hit it with some primer, heavy. Hit it with primer, heavy primer. Okay, and then from that heavy primer, what we'll do, because I don't know if you can see them, because it's still wet. I want to get this one as wet. See, so there's still scratches in here, and so what you do is you hit it heavy with your primer. Your primer is going to fill in those scratches. You're going to come back with, say, a 320 wet or a 400 and uh, uh, smooth it out, okay, when you get ready to prep for paint, okay? But that's a much better uh, result right there than what we had uh, with that old uh, big old dent that was in it and all the little dings and stuff. So that's going to work a lot better for us, okay? All right, cool. At least you can see it. There we go. Much better. There we go. Okay, so just wet sanded this. I was going to paint this real quick because I got to do some trim on the inside. And I thought, well, I'm going to paint this hood. But um, we just wet sanded it. And I'm not sure what this is, but it didn't take it off very good. So, and I can feel it in some places. So the hood's kind of a focal point. So I really want that to be kind of nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the DA across this with some 80 grit and tear this up pretty good. 
and I'll come back and probably hit it with some primer, wet sand it, and then paint it. Okay? So we're going to try that. All right, cool. All right, so we just run the DA over it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it down. And then I'm going to take some uh, 320 and some 400. I'm going to wet sand it down and prep it. Okay? Then I'm going to primer and paint. Okay? I think we'll be okay. All right, cool. So, you just hit that with some paint. You get you some sun reflecting off of that. Yeah. Okay. So, outdoor driveway paint job using a Rust Oleum paint. Not too bad. All right, guys. I hope you got something, some entertainment value, or learned something from this episode and, and all the episodes that we do. And I just really want to thank you for watching our episodes. We really appreciate you. We really do. Again, thank you so much.